Oh, that is right, my friend. Warm up your little hands on the, the fire. The very vibrant fire, as the bottle of Daryl last episode hasn't quite worn off yet. My word, look at these colours. So vibrant. The water's green. But my friends, welcome to the next episode of Skyrim Life. As a beggar, as you can see right here, we're still very much under the effects of Daryl. I think we'll hang out here for a bit while this uh, wears off before we head inside. You got the Khajiits here chopping wood, earning coin. Wait, is this is this always here, this wood chopping block, or is it just where the camp's here? But actually, since the Khajiits are here, I think we will... Oh, the Daryl's are wearing off a bit now. There it is. That was a nice little hit, though, last episode. Oh, look how bleak and grey it's become. Oh, that's taking an effect on me. But look how bleak and grey it is now. No, that's worn off. I have got another one. Do I treat myself to another one? Perhaps. I do, I do want another. Mr. Vibrancy. But yeah, my friends, if you remember the last episode, we came on a great journey from Riften back to Whiterun. And uh, the road delivered us many hostiles and near-death experiences. But we came here safely. We sipped on a bottle of Daryl and had a good time. And actually, I'm going to sell to these guys right quickly. Because uh, while they're here, I may as well sell what I have to them. Because I need coin for that plot of land, and I have many things I can sell, like this Axe of Forgotten Kings, which isn't worth that much, but I'm not going to use it, so I'll sell it anyway. Elven Battle Axe. I'll sell the Ebony Sword, I think. That's 432 gold. And I'll use the Glass Sword, I think, as my web. There we are. We've sold quite a few bits and bobs there. We've got actually quite a lot of coin now to put towards this land, but actually, we also do want to buy some stuff, like some possible narcotics. Let's see if this guy has the good stuff. He has some green moat, has some fell dude. Doesn't have any Daryl though, that's a shame. Could do a little bit of hiss sap. Um, oh, that's, a re that's a real shame. I was hoping he would have some Daryl because it's really hard to find. I think we'll leave him for now actually. I hope that you will come and, uh, with us again. Oh, of course I will, friend. Of course I will. Of course I will. I think then uh, we've done some training with the Khajiits. So I should head inside the White Run City walls, find my old beggar home that I had there in that little corner, and uh, begin begging and saving up money towards the, the land and I think the land can be purchased here in, in good old white run so without further ado we're back to our old home in episode 2 we were here hopefully our little beggar bedroll is still where we left it that would be appreciated but look at this, oh look at this the sky is glorious this evening, or well, as it draws to evening as the sun sets just look at this quite magnificent isn't it Oh, I need all the small pleasures I can get as a beggar in this harsh land. Hopefully this persists, the sky persists this way once we get inside. Oh, there we are. Yes, the sky is still so wonderful, even inside the city walls. I thought maybe the loading screen would change it, but I thought I'd have to take another bottle of Daryl to enjoy myself, but I think I'll save that. For right now, the, the sky is vibrant enough for me that I don't need anything to to ease my mind, my, my troubled beggar mind. So let's quickly dip into our little house. Well, hardly a house, but our home nonetheless. Yeah, our bedroll's still here. The perpetual fire, which is always good and welcome. I'll store a bunch of things in here for the time being, I think. There, I've stored some things in there. Let us equip... Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm wearing but a loincloth and nothing more. Let us equip our beggar rags so we can actually beg for coin. Because we need to be wearing our ragged robes, that's it. And I'll, I'll equip my weapons while I'm here as well. There we are, back into our beggar mode and ready to beg again. Yes, let's ask this guard straight away. Some coin, please. Yes, I need a few coins, please. I don't what? Think so. Oh, no. Oh, it might be because I have too much coin on me, on my person already. Okay, let's actually see. Oh, yes, this is what we're looking for. The deed to the land. Property for sale. Let's see how much it is. Attention, property for sale. The Yarl of the Pale has approved the potential sale of Hell Yarchin Farm. Plot of land located in the Pale. The okay, so it's... Home to an old farm. The farm and its structures are in poor shape and will necessitate repairs. Okay. So just the Drunken Huntsman is where we need to go. And he'll tell us how much it costs. Let's pick that up. Let's head into the Drunken Huntsman and see how much this plot of land is going to cost. Right, who is it that has the land? Uh, this guy here. He has it. Oh, he's got quite a few guards with him. Okay, uh, friend. Wait, that's not the guy. Yes. Is it someone else? Yeah, this is the guy. This is maybe the guy I talked to about the land. What have, you, uh, what have you got for Take sale? This is where I buy the land. Oh yes, the deed. He has two. He has two deeds. What? My word. Ah, oh, so we can afford this. It's costly. It's going to be 
or over half our current savings, but, well, we don't really have a choice. This is our future. It's going to cost even more to build up the land because it's in disrepair currently. So I think we'll just take that deed, please. And it's now ours, is it? Is it now ours? What do we do now? Uh, I I think that's ours now, that land. So let's let's go to that plot and see if we actually have it. I thought I would actually have to speak to him for him to sit, uh, sell it to me, but I think he, it was just all in inventory, so that's fine. Let's see. This, let's open this deed then now that it's ours. Right, oh, it's not even a readable note. It's just a, a misc item. Okay. Let's get out of Skyrim then. Well then, let's uh, walk to our new land then, shall we? Yes. Oh, who's this? Hello there. Would you like to work on my land with me? <laughs> but, uh, oh yeah, actually, speaking of workers on my land, I like the idea, because I was thinking of the, the exact same idea as some of the other people in the comments about hiring other beggars to work my land once I get my farm built. And I think that'll be a good way of giving back to the begging community once I'm no longer a beggar myself and begin my, my loon life as a farmer. Like, who are these fellas? Oh, a group of travelling, uh... Pilgrims, perhaps? Yes, these are pilgrims and a knight of the faith as well. well. Let's check our map, make sure I think it is where it is. Where is our farm? Okay, I think I know around about where it is. Yeah, I think it's this way. It doesn't show up on the map by the looks of it. Wait, who's this over here? There's some fella there. Who is that shady looking person? Who goes there? Hide bodyguard. Okay. Oh, oh, we need to be careful. We're heading back towards the bandits that uh, nearly killed us last episode. I think it's been a long, long enough that they're, they've lost interest in me, hopefully. We'll go this way just in case. We can't have them seeing us. <laughs> but yeah, we bought the land. It was over half our savings to the land alone, and it's going to cost even more for the all the materials needed to actually build the farm up, like the farm buildings and the windmills and things. So it's going to be quite the little uh, investment of coin. So we're going to have to do a lot more begging before we get enough of that. Right, is this the farm? That's No, that's Battleborn Farm. I think ours is even further down the road. I'm not sure if... I should have probably read through the mod a bit more, but as far as I'm aware, it is down this way. It's a fairly nice evening to go for a, a nice nighttime walk anyway, so no complaints from me. Ah, oh, who's that, good sir? Who goes there? Friend or foe? Speak thy name. Greetings, brother. Oh, wood elf. You look weary. I have something to help you relax if you're. Ah, oh, yes, that's just what I need, friend. Actually, what are you talking about? The finest skooma, the sweetest. Oh, yes. Sugar, at a fair price, of course. I would actually, I would like to buy some stuff actually straight up. I don't Each need to. their own way. Let me, let me buy from you, please. What have you got for sale? Take a look. Oh, I don't want sleeping. Oh, no, sorry, friend. I want some, uh, some Daryl if you got it. Not, not any of that stuff, friend. Nice talking to you, though. You could tell I've, I've got uh, my own addiction, I think. Oh! Oh, oh that was... <laughs> Elks are running around, man. What are all these people doing on the road here? Bounty hunters? What? What's going on here? Adventurer, rogue, wizard, archer, adventurer, yes. experience. Whoa, what's this all this? My map is updated, so apparently. Who updated my map? Well, it looks like a, a party of adventurers out on the road here. Good luck on your adventures, I guess. I've got my own things to settle. Uh, who goes here? What area is this? Is this fr a friendly place? It looks friendly. Hello. Who goes there? White... White Watch Tower. <gasps> oh! There's some fighting going on. What is going on here? Oh, it's the, the guards are dealing with it, I think. Yeah, the guards are killing that mage. Oh, I'm dropping frames a bit. What earth is going on here? Who's attacking them? What's this? Oh, the guards dealt with them. Where are these bandits steal shot. Wait, these are bandit? These are vampires? Bandit vermin. Bandit silver hands. So there's a, a, a bandit raid going on down here on the White Watch Tower. My word. Well, it's uh, nice to that you guys are close by whenever I need you from my farm. <laughs> Let's take what they got. I'll take your orcish hour, get some wine to enjoy my new christening of my new home. Oh, this got a water breathing potion on them, very good. Plenty of coin, there we are. Plenty of coin. Right, I want to steal from that chest. Right, I believe, yes, I believe this is our farm, down this way. So a bit further down from whiter than I thought, but still pretty close by. 
that we can do regular trips into town from our farm, sell our produce and things like that. And there's a lot of travellers on the road it looks like as well, so always safe. Uh, always guards nearby patrolling, so in case a bandit attacks and things. And oh look, some tundra cotton, let's pick that. Why not? Hello, who goes there? What's going on here? More people running around, milling about. What on earth? Who's this guy running up here? Friend, what goes on? Hide bodyguard. Needs merchant, some. merchant wench, okay. And here it is, our dilapidated farm is here. This is ours. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is what's going to be so costly to build this back up. Because we currently have... Oh, there's a dead wolf here. That's interesting. Okay. There's some coin pouches there. A smelter. Is anyone else... Li who, anyone here? There's a giant's camp just over there. Oh! Guard on the road. Oh no, there's already a guy here. Right, let's draw a sword. Bandit Gorehound Cutter. What are you doing on my land? That's it. This is my land. I can defend it however I want to. That's a guard. Let's work together here. Oh, he just, he just guard the guard. He just guard the guard. Other guard, help me. Yes, that's it. Launch arrows upon him. He just killed your partner. That is right, friend. Oh. Yes, get him in the, right in the head. That is it. Yes, axe out. Axe out, friend. Huh? Yeah, there we are. It's staggered. Come on. Get him from behind. Yes, there we are. One last hit. Yes, there we are. I can return the favour, good friend. I'm sorry about your loss of your of your friend there. A pale hold. Who was this? Was this a white run guard or was this a pale guard? This was a pale guard as well. I'm actually getting very hungry and tired myself. But it looks like we're running into people already, issues already. What on earth is going on now? There's an ethereal wolf, oh my word. Right, let's see here. Yeah, Bandit Gorehound Cutter, what on earth? We're already running into trouble on our new land. This won't be the last we see of that. But here is the border to the Pale. There we are, Pale Guard Outpost. So hopefully this place is regularly manned, which would be nice to have uh, regular guards near our farm. Which makes us feel a bit safer. But I believe we can actually start work right away. Is this where we start? Yeah, here's our workbench and everything. So we've got our workbench, we've got D, prepare for construction. There we are. Brilliant. Oh, I hear a wolf already. Hey, be gone, foul beast. This land is now inhabited. You can't just stay here. That's it, you run away. Huh? Take one of those. <laughs> yes. My word. Right then. Let us, I think, activate this. I'm doing this blind, so I, I probably should have actually looked up uh, and read the, the mod. But, oh, look. Safe materials store. Okay, so we put our materials in there, and I think it automatically constructs it. So let's uh, prepare for construction. Pro work area for repairs. It requires deed. That's done. An hour goes by while you prepare the work area. During this time, a courier arrives to inform you that the Yarl acknowledges you as the new owner of Helljar. Yes! Brilliant. Use the nearby carpentry bench to begin repairs. Use the book added in your inventory to review the materials required. Okay, there we are. And there it is. Sorted. So this is the area for our uh, building. Oh, what's going on over there? Is a new fire being added? Was that always there? There's a lot of active. Oh, well, this is the guard still. What is this? Was this always here? I can't quite remember. Well, there we are. We're one step closer to our dream farm. Here it is, in all its <laughs> in all its glory. Don't worry, we will certainly bring it to glory one day. We'll take a lot of coins, so every coin pouch, every penny helps. I'm not quite sure what we need first. Right then. Let us activate the workbench. That does nothing. Let's activate the carpentry workbench. Oh, here we are. Farmhouse repair workbench. Before starting farming and or meadery operations, the farmhouse will need to be repaired. Repairs can be conducted yourself with gathered materials or workers can be hired to restore the structure instead. Hiring workers is more expensive but quicker. Repairing the farmhouse yourself will take longer, but it can be less expensive. Further information can be found by viewing either option below. Repair farmhouse yourself. So if we hire workers, let's see how much that costs. It's like 8 hours and 6k. Yeah, we don't even have that, I don't think. So we can't do that. We have to do it ourselves. How much coin have we got? Yeah, we've got 3k to our name. That's going to be all materials like purchased anyway, so we can't actually afford 
to pay the workers straight up, I'm afraid. So let's see about doing this ourselves, shall we? We're going to need 70 firewood, 40 quarried stone, 35 clay, 60... Wow. Okay. So let's just do the firewood first, shall we? This is going to take a while. I think we've got a chopping block around here. We have to. If not, then that's going to be crazy for us. Is it going to be over here? Yes, here it is. There's a chopping block right here. Let's begin. 70 we need. We've got one, I think, right now. So... <laughs> Let's just begin this, shall we? Here we go. One log at a time. One log at a time. Two firewood apiece. So we need to do this 35 times and then we'll be there. But uh, yeah, while I'm chopping this wood, because I'm going to be doing it for a while to get 70, uh, I'll quickly say uh, thanks to everyone who's been watching the videos. It's much appreciated. If you're watching this and you enjoy what you've been seeing so far, consider subscribing if you haven't already. And if you do want to see more, uh, drop a like and a possibly a comment telling me that you want to see more. Because this always helps any kind of interaction. But so far I've been enjoying and uh, I like reading the comments because they're all pretty kind so far. Which is always nice to see. Been cutting wood for a while, been keeping track. We've got to do this 20 more times. So actually not too much and then we'll be at a good 70 firewood. That's uh, 19 more to go. <laughs> right, there we are. We're nearly there. Just 10 more logs to chop. I'll tell you something. This is uh, a lot longer than uh, getting wood in Minecraft, that's for sure. I think for 70, 70 logs in Minecraft, we would get that in about 5 minutes with an axe. So, uh, this is quite a bit longer <laughs> doing it this way. Right, this is the last one. Just 2 more logs and then we should be at 70. Here we go, boys. Here we go. Yes. Oh look, there are magic aura around me as I fell the second to last log needed. It's quite funny actually because my character, my bigger character, was very work shy at the start of the series, and now he's uh, while well, he's doing uh, manual labor, but I guess it is for his own home, so he would see that as justified, justified work. But we are over encumbered now. After uh, chopping all those logs, our pockets are currently filled with logs. So we're going to need to uh, store that into that chest. Luckily, we have got that material chest that so we can sort everything in. But yeah, my friends, this is going to take quite a while, I think. This is going to be many episodes of building this farm. So I hope it's not too boring for the people watching us uh, build a farm in Skyrim. Alright, let's, let's put the logs in here, shall we? So we've got 72 firewood. There we are. That should be good for now. What else is needed then? Let's see. We need 40, 40 quarried stone, 35 clay. Okay. Where's the, There's got to be some stuff. Oh, my guy's getting hungry as well. His stomach is rumbling. Actually, I might have to go to bed. Yeah, my guy's thirsty. I might have to go to bed in a minute. And there is some stone here already. So we've got all the resources we need, actually. Yeah, my guy's tired. My guy is absolutely tired. So we're going to need to rest up a second. Is there any room I have here that has a bed that I can sleep in? I think and everything's completely dilapidated. I don't think I've got anything. There's not even a bed here. No. Look at this. Luckily, I have got a tent on me. I'm just going to check up on this hilltop if there's actually a little bed or something. Like a little work camp. Because uh, my guy needs to sleep. He's getting tired indeed. Oh, this? Oh, this is going to be the mill, I think. And yeah, this has nothing. This has just wood and splinters. Right then, I'll set up my tent here then, because it's right next to this smelter, which is a heat source. So if we put our tent right against this, we'll keep nice and warm, I think. So if we just drop the tent, pitch tent, there we are. Gold means it's warm, so we won't get cold. Oh, no, it's gone blue, so it's not warm anymore. Right there is nice and warm. I just don't want it glitching into the actual, um, uh, into the actual smelter itself. That would not be good. I think there's fine for now. Pitch tent there. It's, uh... Yeah, it's not glitching into the smelter, really. Let's get this wolf carcass out of here, because it's going to stink up the place. We have no need for this wolf carcass. I don't know why there's a wolf carcass already here. So has someone been here before us, I wonder? Right, you stay there. Right, there we are. We'll sleep here for now. This is our little temp house while we're building the farm. We've got a lot of work to do here, look at this. The farmers in tatters and ruins, we've got some giant neighbours here. I'll keep out of their way if they keep out of mine. I'm worried actually the giants might come over and raid my crops once I get this going. 
that's what I don't want. Right then, let us uh, hit the hay for a second then, get some sleeps, and then have some eat, eats and drinks in the morning. Let's lie down, shall we? There we are, nice, look at that, <laughs> yes! Finally, my character can relax as he now owns a piece of land himself. Have a sleep for tonight, shall we? I wake up feeling rested. I'm very thirsty, very hungry. Oh, am I going to wake up? I thought I died for a second there. Let's get back up. There we are. Out of our tent we come. Shakes our head. We woke up very late, actually. It's already gone 1, uh, 1 p.m. You know, our character is still getting used to the work life. So he's not quite the girl that wakes up at the crack of dawn yet to get the job done. He's still, uh, he's still not used to the work life. <laughs> Resting on his laurels. Oh, actually, it's beginning to snow here. We need to make sure we stay warm. Yeah, light snow begins to fall. We've got a smelter here that we can always warm up by if we need to. It will get cold out here. We have no shelter, but there's a fire over there as well. All right, fantastic. This guard's body is still here. I really hope that goes away. Uh, we can't have that just there forever. Right then, look at this. It's, it's all coming together here. Before it gets too snowy, let's equip some warmer clothes, I think. There, that's a bit warmer with the big bear cloak, but it's uh, not the best still. It's better than our tatted rags, our beggar rags. So, Corrid Stone is next. We need 40, was it? We'll do 50 just in case, but here is the, the, the stone quarry, so let's just begin mining that. There we are. We got used to mining last episode on our journey when we hit that mine up, the uh, Corundum mine. We got some pretty good coin for that, actually. From what I remember. So uh, it's the miner's life for us for the time being. I mean, you get four a piece for the mine. That, that's very good. Yeah, so my friends, I hope as we do this, the kind of farm building element of this series, it doesn't get too far from the beggar stuff. Because I know right now there's not much begging going on as we're, uh, as we're building a farm. But it's, you know, it's part of the beggar character, I guess. It's to stop us being a beggar. Uh, that we're building the farm, so it's kind of like a story thing, I guess. Oh, it's getting very chilly now. Look at this. My screen's getting blue. Oh, yeah, my temp is going up, or going down, actually, in the top there. So after the, we do this, we need to warm up for a bit by the smelter. The good thing about the stone quarry is, actually, unlike the wood chopping block, you can just sit back and your guy will infinitely do it until you stop. Whereas the wood chopping block, you have to keep activating it after every, like, two logs. So you can just kind of sit back and, and watch my guy chop this uh, or mine this this stone should we have the free cam mode and watch our guy mine away toil away his new new work life there we are that's it my friend head down elbow grease and before you know it you have a, a glorious farm to call your own oh my guy begins to shiver I'm freezing that is not good okay we can sort this out quickly we might have to take a break on the mining in a minute to warm up a, a little bit. Right, we're really pushing our body to the limits here. We're going to freeze to death in a minute. We'll do it for a couple more batches of stone. And then we'll uh, store that quickly to warm up. But yeah, it looks like a, little, a small little snowstorm here. It's kind of rolled in. We've got no shelter to our name, so we're getting very chilly indeed. I think that'll be enough for now. Let's uh, warm up by the little smelter for about a second. That my vision's blowing in the corners a little bit there. I am getting very cold indeed. Right, let's get nice and warm, shall we? Come on. Hopefully the smelter will offer us enough warmth. If not, we'll have to build a fire or something. Hey, our friend, come on, warm up. Yeah, there we are. Yes. Good. Good, my friend. Begin to warm up. I'm now very cold. No longer freezing, at least. <laughs> Rubs hands. Yes. It's mining time. Do you know what? I'm not quite warming up. Uh, yeah, look, the, the heat keeps you from getting any colder. But I can't actually warm up. So it, although it's although I'm not freezing anymore, it's still not warming up after a, after a certain point. It's just not hot enough. I need an actual fire, and I can't move because I think I'm actually starving. So let's quickly check needs as I put my hands out again. <laughs> like I just want to get. Well, I'm currently very hungry, very thirsty, not tired. So let's eat and drink quickly, shall we? Well, we've got a lot of cheese and meat, so very rich diet. We'll get gout, but it will keep us from starving. Some leaky potatoes. It might warm us up as well, a bit actually. Sliced goat's cheese. That's a big chunk of goat's cheese there. I think hopefully a charred meat will be enough to keep us keep a bit more. You cereal, bro? How much have I eaten? This is a feast of the ages. An apple? That'd be enough. Uh, I'm full. 
But I need more water, so let's have a sip from our water skin. And that should hopefully be enough for the time being. Get out that lump of bread and begin eating, my friend. You've deserved it after that hard work. That's it. Chomp down, my friend. Chomp down. Right, no more games. You've eaten enough. You've eaten your fill. We need to get to the storage chest to empty our, our rocks. We're literally just full of rocks and, and cut stone. I think it was 40 we needed. I think we definitely have to have got 40. I think we mined probably a bit, even a bit more than that. But we'll see. We'll check the workbench again. Let's just quickly deposit this stuff, please. Oh, 220 quarried stone. Yeah, we, we definitely overmined that. I didn't even realise how much I was... Cause maybe it's because it's four a batch and I just sat back for a bit. <laughs> I was sipping on a Coke while watching my guy mine, so... The repair, repair farmhouse yourself. So I need 35 clay, 60 nails. So nails, hinges, iron fittings. I think that's all stuff I'm going to need to go into town for. To at least get the, the iron ingots for it, at the very least. Unless there is an iron mine around here somewhere. I can begin mining from. I don't think there is, though. Oh, there we are. The sky's clear as the snow begins to settle. At least it's not stormy anymore. I always look on the bright side as my vision begins blurring in the corners again because I'm freezing. Right then, let us do the clay. We need 35 clay. There is a clay lump here that I saw. So let's mine the clay then, shall we? Oh, I got an amethyst from that as well. Very cool. Yeah, I'm really, really hoping, actually, that I can get those fellow beggar friends to come to my land and work for me. It'd be nice to have a, a labour force made up wholly of the beggars. Give them all nice cushy jobs. Pay them well. Feed them well. House them. It'd be very cool. Dude, I got a sapphire from that, from the clay deposit. Hell yeah. Right, this has to be enough now. I'm hoping. I only need 35, so that's got to be enough. And if not, we can just pop back, because we've got infinite of everything, which is awesome. Right, let's see here then. So, we've got... Yeah, 88, okay, that's more than enough. We're going to need to get more of everything, I think, eventually, for the next buildings, because the stuff we're collecting now, I think, is just for this main house. We've still got to build up the farm here. We've still got to build up this, which I believe has something to do with mead or something. I think maybe like an ale house or something. And I think that's the mill up there, so we've still got quite a few buildings to do. So it's going to require a lot of resource gathering, which is uh, all around pretty tedious, actually. If we beg for some coin, maybe we can pay for some labourers or something. But that'll be a long, long, long amount of time uh, begging to get enough coin for that. Cause it's like 6k for, for workers. We could always, always raid the giants for coin, see what treasures they're keeping in their land. Mm, maybe I have to give myself some armour first, although there is that pale guard there. Who's dead? I could take his armor. Although, actually, if I get a scene wearing this dead guard's armor, they're going to think what's wrong with me. I hope someone comes and, and relieves this guard who's dead. <gasps> who's that? A, a traveler on the road. Who goes there? You're going to be passing my territory. I need to know who you are and what you're up to. He looks friendly enough. Not attacking me. Non hostile. Banned Fire Wizard. Uh, that's an interesting type of character. Hello there, yes. sir. He means no harm. I, I will let him on his way. He, that's a pretty cool. Did he get kicked out of somewhere? Huh. Interesting little dude. I, I wish him well on his journeys. Uh, actually, let's uh, warm up by this fire for a bit because we're still not fully warm yet. This should help us get nice and warm, I think. Well, there crouches down, puts head in fire, <laughs> puts forehead on hot coals, burns head. Ah! Ah! Right, there we are. I feel warm enough now. I'm going to go back to the workbench and see what other resources we need. I would like to get this main farmhouse done uh, for this episode, at the very least, get something accomplished this episode. So we might have to pop back to Whiterun, just for the iron and the smithing stuff. Right, let's see here then, let us repair the farmhouse yourself. So we got all the clay, and we need nails, hinges, so 60, 30, 60, okay, that should be easy enough. I'm not sure if we can buy that straight up, but I do think we can craft them at the blacksmith, if anything, so... Should be fine. We need 12 locks, 10 iron ingots. So this will be quite costly coin-wise. Unless there is an iron mine somewhere around here, which I doubt there would be. I don't think the Yarls of the land would let an iron mine just go so freely with a, a land purchase. It's been into rain as well. It actually might be a good time to go back to town for a little bit. Warm up, get some drink, get some food. Fill our water skins back up and uh, hit up the blacksmith for what we need. I'm just going to double check quickly because there isn't, yeah, because there's a, there's a stone thing here, there's a clay there, I don't think there is an iron deposit. 
Unless I'm wrong. I can always double check the mod if I need to. But, um, oh, what's this? Could we have slept here the whole time? Oh, yeah, we could have. There's a little bedroll here. Huh. It's buried, but it's there. Oh, and maybe this has something to do with... Because I think these, these are two mods here. Because we've got the farm mod here. And I think this is the, the hold border gates or something mod. So there might be a little bit of conflict going on just on this little territory here. So this bit might be part of our farm, technically. We'll see if it glitches it out or something in the future when we get there. Oh, there's an arrow there. Free arrow. But yeah, I'm not seeing any iron ores or anything. So I think we'll take this time to do our shopping in town, shall we? Let us go back to town. Back to good old Whiterun. Let's go. Oh, here I'm back in Whiterun and I could use a nap and I'm thirsty and hungry. So I think we should probably sleep anyway until morning so the blacksmith gets here. We can buy from them. But it's looking like this portion of getting all the nails and all the metal things is going to be pretty costly to us. So we might have to sell a few things again, sadly. But let's see if we anything we can make so far. But nails for 10 is one iron ingot. So we just need to buy out all the iron, I think, in town. And then that should be good enough. Oh, who are these fellas that are just kind of the guards barracks? Bodyguards, huh? Bodyguards, huh? Oh, have you got any iron ingots on you, friend? Take a look. I would like I would like all your ingots, please. Iron ore. I'll take that. Why not? I'll turn that into an ingot. And uh, nothing really else of value, good sir. I'm ashamed to say. But I have to watch some sapphires that I mined from the good old clay quarry back home. Wow, those sapphires are worth a lot. There's something that I just mined out the ground for free. Let's sell some necklaces and things that I've got. Why not? Get some coinage thrown our way for once. There are a bunch of potions to him as well. Mm. Potions that I know I won't use, like poisons and things. So uh, I think let's yeah sleep until morning, shall we? Get a good long rest after a hard day's work. There are 8 a.m., so a bit of an earlier start. Yeah, I want to get there. The oh, I guess here comes the blacksmith. Okay, well the blacksmith goes down there and gets to their uh, gets to their good old post. I'm gonna hit the inn, get some food and drink for when I return back to my farm. So I don't starve to death. Head side. Oh! <laughs> Guy right there. Creepy dude looking at me like that. Huh? Right. Hello. If it's work you need, how about chopping up some wood for the fire? Oh, uh, I've, listen, I've cut up enough wood at my own farm. I don't need to do it for you as well, that's for sure. So we'll get these filled up, please. That'd be very nice. Get some more water while I'm at it. Why not? Look. Get some foods as well. Some, some filling foods, I think. There, we'll look up. We've got some potato bread there. That's a filling meal. Perfect for a working man. I'll buy the rabbit stew as well. Very good. It was a pleasure doing business with you. I've got to get back to work now. Right then, hopefully the blacksmith is going to have plenty of iron for us to purchase. Maybe even some of the, the nails and things we can buy directly. That'd be good. Right, let's see here. What have you got on you, good, good friend? Blades, helmets... Well, I don't need blades or helmets. I need pure metal, please. There we are. Buy all your iron. That's actually not that much. That's okay. Not going to be enough, but it's a start. Buy the ore as well. I wonder if she sells the nails and things directly. That would be good. I wonder if the fella inside the shop actually sells that stuff. That would be... Oh, that's locked right now. When does that open, I wonder? Well, let's, let's go here first. Who are these wenches working the forge? You've got a racket going on here. When did you hire these people? Please, I need to use that smelter first, please. After after I'm done, you can use it. I just need to smell a few things. Oh, just some iron ingots here. There we are. Just the two, I think. There we are. So, let's just do 60 nails first, shall we? Let's get that ball rolling. So we just need 60. That's all we need. So, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50... 60, that's 60 nails. We need hinges. We need 30 hinges. So we need, we're going to need 15 iron for this, so we've only got 12. So we'll do these first, shall we? Oh, my guy's getting hungry again. Right, I'm nearly there. I just need 8 more hinges, and I've run out of iron, so I'll go back inside the shop and see if he's got any more now. Hello, good sir. I need no weapons, no armor. I just well need metal, big. please. Oh, come on, please, please. You know me, sir. You know me. There we are. Look at, that's what I'm talking about. 28 iron ingots. That is what I'm talking about right there. Yes, yes, fantastic. Good doing business with you. Indeed, friend. Indeed, good, good, good business indeed. So, That's just three more batches of hinges wow. is what we need. One, two, good old three. There we are. So the hinges done. Uh, ten iron fittings. So they're one apiece. 
There we are, that's 10 iron fittings. And we need some locks, and that's going to require a corundum ingot as well as an iron ingot. We need 12 of those, so we need 12 corundum. Okay, it's going to be a bit more costly then. Well, I, don't claim I can't to be the best do anything else but buy them directly, Blades, so helmets, it's going to be costly. Luckily, we've got a lot to sell. This is 8, so we need 12. My word, this is costly indeed. So four more. Hopefully, again, the guy inside has some. Good friend, I'm back. I'm going to give you more coin. You have not got what I want. That's a shame. That's a real shame, good sir. Well, there's another blacksmith here, actually, in, in Whiterun. At the, at, the, uh, at the companions over there, so let's go that way. It's a pretty glorious day here in Whiterun. Look at this. The sun is up nicely. Not a cloud. There's a few clouds in the sky. A few wisps. But everyone's working, out working. Glorious day indeed. Look at this. Could bask in this glory all day long. Actually, let's go to Benathor's shop first to see if he's got some straw. Good sir, I need ten straw. That's all I need. Please have it. I beg of you, friend. Oh, he's got a corundum ore. I'll take it. Yes, he has straw. I'll take all thirteen, please, good sir. I'll take the lot. I'll take your whole entire stock, friend. If I can go Oh no, I didn't mean to buy a candlestick. What? That was a waste of coin. This game, man, misclicking is so common in this game. That's 50, 50 coin down the drain right there. All right, well, let's go back to the uh, companions. That's where we're going, yes. Sorry, my mind's all over the place right now. I'm trying to remember all these locks and nails and all these shopping lists for Skyrim. <laughs> my word, someone's mic micromanaging. All this to build one glorious farm so a beggar can get off the streets. We're nearly there, though. I just really want to get this house done in this episode. At least the main house. That would be nice. I think we need four corundum. I think that's what we need. What have you got for sale, friend? Gods be praised. Gods be praised. And he has got what we are what we're after. I'll take four, please, good sir. I spent a lot of coin already today. Mm -hmm. And I'll forge it here. Skyforged uh, sky forged locks. And we need 12 of these bad boys. And 12. There we are. We've got three ingots left. And we need actually 10 ingots as well. But I think everything else is done. We've got the hinges, the nails, everything. So we just need seven iron ingots, please. Please, friend. Gods be praised. Please have iron. I'll just take the lot. All ten, please. Probably going to need more in the future anyway. So we've got the nails, we've got the hinges, we've got the fittings, we've got the locks, and the ingots, and the straw as well. So I think we're ready to go back into the farm. Look at this. The companions are gracious enough to let, let us use their forges to make locks for our doors. But hey, we're going to have the strongest locks in all of Skyrim for our farm, so that's good. Good old Skyforge locks. The sun is bright. It's a glorious day here. Look at this. Basking at this beautiful town. Oh, uh, very good. Right, back to the farm we go then. Let's make haste, because I think we've got everything we need now to build the house itself. Here's our good old farm. Yes! Oh, in our little travel time there, the weather's got a bit more gloomy, but that's okay. I think our farm is, is quite a bit further north anyway than, uh, than Whiterun, which is just there. I think technically we're in the Pale, aren't we, actually? In the Pale Hold, not the, the Whiterun Hold. But, oh! Uh-oh. Those are bandit explorers. Those are definitely bandit explorers, that's for sure. We cannot be seen by them. Because they will crush our heads quicker than anything. So let's just hide from those fellas. Oh, please, that said they're coming to my farm. <gasps> they are! Wait, who are you? Please, sirs. Oh, the Silverhand Elites. What are they doing? What on earth are they doing here? <laughs> oh, actually, if they want to be guards, that's fine. But yeah, they're like following me specifically? What is going on here? Uh, Silverhand, I am not a monster. I'm a mere beggar, doing his part in this world. In this world. If you want to stay and guard me with your epic crossbow bows, I'm more than happy for you to stay. But uh, it looks like they're probably hunting for something out there, some beast or something. Keep my land safe, friends. I thought they were bandit explorers at first. That was, that was scary. Right, let's store everything else in our chest then. Hinges, thirty. Ten fittings, yes. Ingots, we'll give them 10. Locks, 12 locks. That's a lot of locks of the house. Nails, and I think it was 10 straw as well. There we I think that's the lot. I think we can now activate this. Repair farmhouse yourself. I think we get everything we need. Repair. Not enough building material. Wait, have I actually got to have it in my hands, have I? That's kind of crazy, not going to lie. There we are. I've got it all in my hands now. This has got to be enough, right? Repair farmhouse yourself. Repair. There we are. Yes. Oh, night has now fallen. Oh, after 12 hours of hard work, your farmhouse has been repaired. Inside, you can find your own personal living quarters, as well as areas to store and cook food. 
The farmhouse can also house farmers, guards, and a brewer. Should you hire them? Yes! The farm and or meadery can now be repaired. Either will need to be constructed first before workers can be... Okay, so I need to construct them, then I can hire workers. Uh, subsequently earn gold for you. Okay, then that can earn us even more go gold. Very good. I'm going to store the rest of this stuff in this material chest because I'm still over-encumbered. Right, there we are. It's now night for it. Obviously, it took a while to build that. But there it is. Look at that. We worked hard this episode. We mined many stone. We cut many logs. We hit up the blacksmith, did some forging. It looks like we've got a few new guards that are not of our own volition, but they're there anyway. Patrolling the lands. And there's a guard up there patrolling as well. This guy's still dead here. That's a shame. We need to get rid of that body at some point. Attract unwanted attention. But there is another... What's this? Like some kind of weird concession going on. Or procession. What's, what is this? Friends. I think it's... Oh, it's more pilgrims. Well, pilgrims are always welcome. The light snow begins to fall. No oh, friends. Yes. This is a large, this is a large procession of uh, pilgrims. A venture and a wench. A lone wench on the road. It's dangerous to have to be mm. out here. But I wish them luck on the road. Uh, once this farmhouse is fully repaired, I can invite guests and travellers on the road to, to stop up and replenish their food, drink, and, and comforts and things. Look at that. Oh, yes, as the evening grows, so does the night sky in magical colours and lights. I think before we end this episode, we should head inside and check out the new digs. Don't know about you, but this looks comfy as hell, so let's go inside, shall we? Oh, and here we are. Cozy indeed. Look at this. A clock. I don't know if that's a the right kind of clock for this land. I don't know if they would have numbered clocks or use numerals or something. But anyway, besides the point. Farmer's quarters. There's no beds in here yet. I think we have to hire someone first. And we've got up the upstairs area. I think our bedroom's going to be up here. Oh, this is the guards' quarters. Again, no guards, so no, nothing in there yet. Uh, this just leaves the sky. Where's our quarters, then? Surely this is our quarters here, then. Maybe. I think we, so we have to still furnish this place a little bit, I think. Okay. Wait, is this all the house is? Is this... Oh, okay. Farmhouse cellar. Let's go down here. Okay, there we go. We've got an oven here. That's, what guess, what the stone was for. Or a large part of the stone, as well as the floor. Uh, wine storage. We've got another way to Skyrim. Brewer's quarters. The brewer will live down here. It will live amongst the yeast floating in the air. That can't be healthy, but... Oh, well. Landlord's quarters. Is this mine, then? I guess the... Oh, this is mine. Where I live, then? I live in the basement, do I? I don't even get to live in the top floor. That's my, another key to my place. So I'm, I'm technically the landlord, so yeah, this is my house. Or my room, at the very least. Okay. Okay. This needs a bit of work down here, but... I think we'll put some stills here, I'm guessing, to make ale and things. But... Uh, yeah, we got the business ledger safe and everything. This place will be productive one day and, uh, well, we'll no longer be a beggar, that's for sure. we we'll have to start life as a farmer, I guess. Continue on with this character. Right, let's, uh, let's hit the outside world, shall we? Oh, it's chilly indeed. Wait, what's going on here? Hey, you guys, get away from me. He's <laughs> scurrying away like cockroaches as I come outside. You had no right to be picking my flowers. Just ask, okay? I would have given them to you freely if you had just asked. Next time, just ask. Mercenary wizard. What's everyone milling about down here? What's going on? Did I invite a party or something? That's it. Keep moving. Keep moving. Get out of here. You ain't wanted here. You're welcome to stay, yes, mercenary wizard. Yes, Can I hire I you? I wish I could hire you, mercenary wizard. But uh, you're f feel free to stay around the fire for a bit or something. And, yeah, warm yourself up. Always welcome. Got to get rid of this guard's body now. I'll take his armor and stuff, I think. Right. I've taken all his stuff so we can actually move his body easily. And he's still a heavy guy. Just can't have this guy's gutted body just on my doorstep. That's not really welcoming. We'll bury him or something. There we are. He is magically gone from nowhere. All that remains is a... Oh, what's it? Merchant wench? Wait, where did the merchant wench die? Wait, what? Is her body, like, glitched under the ground or something? Bandit, gorehound, cut it. What? Yeah, a merchant wench was killed at some point, and it's like a little piece of her remains here. Okay, that's not good. That is definitely not good. That's why everyone was milling about, were they? Well, I need to find the body then, because there's a body somewhere in our land. Oh, my stamina's dropping. My addiction's getting the best of me. Was she killed in my, my farmland? Is that why everyone was here? Checking out on the body or something? Nope. Nothing here. That's pretty weird. I'm a bit creeped out by a random bit of gut just sitting there. That's the bandit gorehound. Oh, I just hope they don't come and question me about the whole thing. Don't want to uh, deal with that. Oh, my stomach's rumbling. 
So I think it's time for me to eat at this point. And also, I think it's time for me to end this episode, because we've been recording for a while now. Well, most of it was kind of tedious work, mining and chopping wooden things. My guy's yawning, his stomach is rumbling. He just can't feed this guy enough. It's never enough. This guy will always be asking for more. And also, oh, look at this, my own outhouse. Can I even open it? I don't think I can even open it yet. But I'm sure this building here is meant to be like a beehive or greenhouse or something. This is all going to be farmland, which we can then turn into profits, yes. But for now, at least the main house is done, so we have somewhere to sleep and live and rest our weary heads. I guess we're no longer a beggar, or at least we're not homeless. So, I mean, we can still be a beggar, I guess. But the farm is coming along nicely, my friends. I'm going to leave you here. As always, if you like what you see, feel free to leave a like. If you do want to see more, consider subscribing. Your viewership is always appreciated, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.